Hi Tessa, welcome to lesson number 11. I thought we'd come out to the park today and lots of beautiful butterflies. Um, yeah, I thought you would like to uh, have your lesson out here today. Uh, we're going to learn a new chord. The new chord is called G7. G7 is made with three fingers, not one like C, not two like F, but three fingers. I'm going to come close so that you'll be able to see the chords easier. All right. This is your C chord. This is your F chord. The new chord we're going to learn is G7. It's one finger there on the second string, that's from the floor, and it's behind the first fret, and it's that finger that's in that first column. Then in the second column, you go to the third string from the floor, behind the second fret. Now the next string is going to be still behind the second fret, so you have to use this other finger and tuck it in under here in the first string. And that's G7. So it's here, here, and here. Now if you go from C to G7, it's simple. You've got this finger on the C. You slide that finger over one, and then you add the other two fingers, there and there. If you're in F, your F chord is that way. You lift that finger, turn your hand ever so slightly, and drop them down on those two strings. And that's the G7 chord. Okay. There are two videos to follow this one. The first video is a teacher whose name is Bernadette. She does a very, very good job with charts and everything of showing you the G7 chord and how to form it. Then after that video, there's a little exercise video in practicing your G7 chord. Now you'll wanna try and go from C to G7, and you wanna try and go from F to G7. So let's just try that right now. Counts of four, I'll count in four, and then we do four on the C, and go four to the G7, and four back to the C. Let's try that. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's try the same thing with the F. We start on the F chord and then we go to the G7. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So Listen to Bernadette's lesson. It's a very good lesson. And when that is finished, then you get a little exercise uh, on how to play the G7. And I'll be back to see you for lesson number 12. Bye-bye for now, sweetheart.